it's just another beautiful day here at the barn. I'm actually a volunteer. Yeah, so I just come here Monday through Friday every morning, and then at the end of the week, I get a free riding lesson. Yeah, I mean, as I'm sure you know, horseback riding lessons are super expensive, so I'm so thankful for this opportunity. Yeah, I'd say overall, it's a really good place to volunteer. Oh, I just realized I'm leaning. That means I could be cleaning. I better get to it. The barn manager says if I apply myself, one day she'll teach me how to train horses. I've been here for four years. Yeah, five days a week, why do you ask? This last Saturday was heyday. Usually I don't volunteer on Saturdays, but the manager and all the paid staff came down with a nasty cold, so I had to cover for them. I ended up stacking over a thousand bales all by myself. I just really hope I don't catch whatever sickness is going around. I really don't want to miss any of my volunteer days. But I guess even if I do catch it, it seems to only last for a few hours because the entire staff was here for a sunset trail ride that night and a heyday barbecue, so. It's actually pretty simple when you get the hang of it. First, I start my day off with graining all of the horses that are in stalls. Then I head out to the pasture and I throw hay. Then I come back to the stalls and I do turnout. And then I have about 50 stalls that I have to muck and then replace the shavings. And then I go out and I muck the 10 acre pasture. Once I'm finished with that, my time is already way run out, but I still have a whole list of chores to do. So then I have to clean water buckets and then prep the grain for that evening. Yeah, I am always racing the clock. The owner said that I should be able to get all that done in three hours, but so far my fastest time is six hours and 27 minutes. But they said that if I just walk faster, I could cut that time in half. So I've taken up running and I've been able to shave a couple minutes off my time. Oh no, I wish I lived close. I live 20 miles away. Um, yeah, so it's 40 miles round trip. It's quite the workout. I can't afford a car because I don't have time for a paying job. So I'm just doing what I can. There's a phrase that gets me through the day. When your why is big enough, the how doesn't matter. I repeat that over and over and over again, mile after mile. I just really want to learn so much with horses, so I just have to put in my time. I guess, yeah. Sometimes I really do feel taken advantage of, but when I grew up, I want to own my own barn, and so there's so many things I need to learn. So even if I don't get a riding lesson that week, or I put in twice the amount of hours that I'm supposed to, it's just kind of like earning my keep. Okay, who of you has ever volunteered at a barn in exchange for lessons or in exchange for board? I think a lot of times this is a really good way to jump in and learn about horses if you don't have the money to pay for a lesson or you wanna see what actual care looks like besides just the riding side of things. So I do think it's a really great option. I also think that you have to be careful because a lot of times people work you like a horse when you work for free. So that's something to keep out there. I've heard horror stories <laughs> on both sides of barn owner versus volunteer. Anyways, I am curious if you have a horror story or just a fun story or your learning experience, drop that down below. I'd love to hear. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys all in the next one.